Hi everyone, it's Cindy from Ideas Times 2. Welcome back to our channel. Today I have part three of my series, Making a Junk Journal, cover to cover, start to finish. And so far, uh, part one, we made the cover, this uh, really nice uh, fabric spine. And second part, we made this envelope flip in the back, uh, on the back cover. And I kind of want to finish this part up today. We didn't, didn't finish, so I thought I'd finish that up with you today and uh, maybe a collage, a tag, uh, or a card to put inside um, of a pocket, and we'll see how it goes from there. So uh, kind of a recap. The uh, envelope flip that we did is just this three envelope uh, flip. And I want to put something here in the middle, a pocket uh, with maybe a tag in it or a card. Go on. And this still needs a little bit of decoration. And um, I thought that would be a good place to start this morning. So. I've kind of assembled a little uh, pile of stuff, and um, the theme of this journal is spring, but I'm kind of leaning towards irises, and so I have a lot of purple and um, green, of course, uh, color of, of spring. And so I've got these sitting out here. I don't know if I'm going to use them for anything, but I've got those handy. I've got some tags and some things that I've already uh, had already prepared um, I made earlier in the week that need to be put in a pocket or um, glued on. So this is what I have sitting here and um, let's go ahead and get to work. So um, I made uh, this large journaling card to go in this pocket so go ahead and put that in there I kind of feel like I, I maybe need to put a um, something on here a charm or something but I'll think think about that um, and then I made this to glue on here And we'll actually get to some actual rule crafting <laughs> shortly, but uh, for now, we'll finish up the stuff that I had already started. And so I'm just using Fabri-Tac today. as I usually do. I know a lot of people use glue sticks for this kind of thing, but I, I mean, I'm i a school teacher and I have a lot of experience with other people using glue sticks when students do projects. And invariably I'll have projects hanging up uh, around the classroom and a couple weeks later the glue sticks have dried to the point where all the stuff is falling off the posters. So. Um, I, I have some very good glue sticks that I do use periodically, but I always worry about things, especially um, if I'm selling something in the shop. I don't want somebody to get it home and then a couple weeks later, you know, things start falling apart in, the, in their journal. Uh, and this one is for a gift, so I want to make sure that um, it's, you know, it's all good. All right. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, I have some tags out. I just printed some new tags, and so maybe I'll add a label or something uh, on here. But I think that looks pretty good, and I think that looks pretty good. Um, this I planned on leaving just as is. You can see I made a, a little journal to go inside, a little notebook with you know, scraps from my um, paper box, my uncontrollable paper box. And um, so I, I didn't think anything else needs to go there, but now when I'm looking at it, I'm feeling like it's a little blank. 
um, too blank, too empty. So I might need to add something to that. Um, but I kind of feel the same way about this. Um, this is from a, a digital kit. And I, you know, I think, I think it's cute, but it just doesn't have any dimension. So I have these here, these uh, papers here, and I thought I would just basically duplicate what's on here and, you know, something like that, just to give it some dimension. And this is from the same paper pad um, or dig digital kit as the other ones. And it had some stitching, you know, digital stitching on here. And so I actually stitched on it and added some uh, stamps, uh, postage stamps. And um, this is from uh, an invoice, a French invoice from, uh, let's see, I don't see the date, the year on here. Um, but it was, I know it's pretty old and normally I would hate to, you know, cover or, you know, use this, but it had already, um, I purchased this in a paper pack and somebody had already cut out like a, a hunk from right here. And so it really was not usable. It's not something I could have, um, you know, scanned and used multiple times. And so I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and use it. And it will be, uh, you know, a nice touch of an original uh, piece of ephemera rather than just, you know, a, a digital kit. And even though this is pretty old, I think it was from the, I, I know I saw the date somewhere. Um, on the back, somebody has written, um, all these notes, and they're in French, but it's from uh, the Bartholomew Cafe, and it looks like, you know, what they ate uh, at the uh, at the restaurant, so it's it's pretty fun. I'm going to use the, the front for this, but, you know, I still have this piece I took off um, from the bottom uh, with their little notes on here, 31 francs, 68, so it's a lot of fun. So even though it's already aged, I'm going to ink up just the edges just a little bit. And I'm going to glue this down. Kind of cover the one that's already there. And both sides, it's hard to know what to do sometimes, but there's really, there's no monetary value to somebody's notes about what they ate at a restaurant unless it was, you know, um, Gertrude Stein or, you know, uh, Steinbeck or Hemingway or somebody sitting in Paris uh, drinking coffee in the 1930s. which it's not. It, just somebody's notes on the back of a, an invoice. You know, I know it's, it's hard to sometimes use um, actual ephemera, but, you know, if it doesn't have any sentimental value for you um, personally then why not because just because it's old doesn't mean it's worth anything that it's valuable um, and it had a piece of tape up there so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that and I've got some tape that I aged to the side See, I think it lo it's looking better already 
I think the digital was really pretty, but it doesn't have dimension. I like things that um, are have texture, and you know you can see texture in a digital, but you can't feel it. So I'm gonna go and put this here. And I wish I had sewn on here uh, to mimic that before I glued it down, but you know, hindsight and all of that. like that so much better. I'm glad I decided to do that. And another piece of tape. Maybe I'll put another one down here. So it, I think the top is feeling a little heavy with that dark tape on it. So I think I'll put a small piece down on the bottom. Balance it out a little bit, I think. Yeah, I think that's good. And I left the strings on here on purpose. I wanted, like I said, texture. I like texture. So I like that. I think that looks good. And this definitely needs a little bit of aging on there. It looks too new. Yep, so much better. I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. And it feels good to craft. I've gotten home so late from work this week, every day that I've been uh, just struggling to find the energy um, to work um, on this project, so um, it feels good to have a day of a day of crafting. Although the weather is so gorgeous outside, it's gonna be hard to stay inside. So I'm gonna try to get out this afternoon and maybe go for a walk. So I made this uh, pocket just out of cardstock, and uh, nothing special. I don't know if I'll add a label or um, something on there. I've got a little bit of lace. Uh, lane here that I might uh, use to embellish some things, but uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it. And I think I'm, I took out two different sizes of tags, but I think I'm going to use the large one. And so I want to make sure that I put the pocket far enough down. I don't want it to show below the envelope, but I and I and I don't and instead of but I should say and I don't want it up too far either. So and hopefully hopefully it'll fit back in. Um, I did measure it. I know it's the right size, but once you put the glue on there it kind of shrinks the size of your pocket. A little bit of glue seepage there. I think I say this in every video I use this thing. If you don't have one of these, you really need to get one. It's a glue eraser. And they're a couple of dollars. You can get them on Amazon. Um, I'm sure you can get them other places, but I, I purchased multiple ones from Amazon. So. Um, now, I think I'll put these to the side. Um, yeah, I think that'll fit in there. Yeah, I'm so, yeah, it goes this way. So pleased that this, the way this is turning out. So now I need to embellish that. 
and I do know I want to use this, that um, the bottom of that invoice, and it's the perfect size um, to put on there. And I may use some uh, more of the tape, so I'm going to keep that handy. Um, kind of to keep some continuity uh, with the colors and textures of what I've already done. Let's see. I've got this. And I think this is about the right size. Um, it's a blue iris. So I might use this. I love the way this paper turned out. So it's so I may use use this and and then keep this in mostly intact for another um, uh, either a short page in um, a larger journal or um, maybe a mini and maybe I need to make some more mini journals. Let's see. I also have some book page. A little bit of that, some leftover scraps from some lace, but I haven't really thought at all how I want to do um, this um, this tag. There's some lace, but all I'm thinking, I'll go ahead and ink the edges. I, do, I just remembered I do need to go out today. I have maybe three feet of <laughs> uh, brown yarn, yarn, brown thread left. And that's not going to get me far today. I just remembered because I was thinking of sewing around the edge. This is probably all I have enough thread to finish. Is this one, one tag. I'm going to have to use this as the front. I got a thumbprint on there yesterday. When I was aging the tape, I wound up with um, ink all over my fingernails and under my nails, and which is why they're polished because they are stained with um, alcohol ink. A little extra ink on here. So I know I want that to be fairly prominent and stick with my iris thing. So I'm going to start with what I know I want and then layer from there. Maybe I need to do some stenciling on there. I'm not sure. So when you're making tags or collaging and layering, do you know exactly what you want to do before you start? Do you have it all planned out? Or are you more like me with the vague idea? <laughs> um, or are you um, maybe more courageous and you just start gluing and it works out? You know, I've watched other people's videos where that's how they work. And they just take stuff and they start gluing and... And layering and collaging and it, they're so gorgeous I just don't have the courage to do that it amazes me when how people um, can do that I'm I'm cautious when it comes to collaging and layering I keep trying to push myself out of my comfort zone but um, I don't get very far <laughs> I'm still in the same zip code. And this is coffee stained, but I don't know. I like the definition of the inked edges. And 
I'm just going with the standard um, vintage photo brown. Well, it's a start. Um, and I definitely don't want to use these. I think they're too dark. And a little green. Um, I think these are too white. So I don't think I'm gonna use those. I think I'm gonna keep it simple add maybe a little bit of green for some contrast. And I don't want to cover up too much of that writing, so keep just a little bit there. I think it does need something over here, but I'm not sure what. And maybe more green. Keep consistent. I've got some music. I might like that. There's some more of that same green that I used here. Where is he? sure about the music but I'll give it a little a little look see yeah, I don't mind that so I think I'll go ahead and Well, that's going to be covered. I don't. So I don't know why I'm inking it, but I like to be consistent. I'm just going to slip that under, underneath. Um, maybe a little bit more green. a touch. And I've got some purple sorry silk and purple seam binding that I dyed a couple weekends ago. So I think I will use that for the um, for the tag and probably do a little sewing. Finish it up. Give it a, a finished a finished look. I should have had this project done weeks ago. I've just been so busy with work and I've done other things to put in the shop. But this one has kind of gotten pushed off to the side. So that's my, my plan for the weekend. My goal is to get this one just done. Um, hopefully today. everybody's doing well and we have some 
plans this weekend to do something fun, whether it's crafting or reading or barbecuing. Today would be a good day for a barbecue. It is so gorgeous. We've had kind of chilly, rainy weather this week. And yesterday afternoon, the sun came out and it got up to, I think, 80, 83 degrees yesterday. And today's supposed to be a little cooler than that. I think it's supposed to be in the low 70s. But wow, you cannot beat that um, for a March, a March Saturday. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of people up at the garden centers and home improvement stores today, which is probably what I should be doing, getting my garden in or my garden ready to put in. It's a little early to put it in. Although, I'm not sure what I'm putting in my garden this year because something, I'm not sure what, um, moved into my garden. And I haven't seen it, but I've seen the burrow and where the grass has been flattened, the weeds, as it goes in and out. But I have no idea if it's safe to work in my garden. I don't mind sharing the space with something that's cute and, you know, <laughs> fuzzy, but I, I don't know if it's anything dangerous out there. I feel like I should be using this little tiny piece of lace, this leftover scrap on something, but I don't know what. But um, I don't think this needs a whole lot more. And let's see, I've got both. Um, sorry, silk and crinkle ribbon. I think I'm gonna go with the sorry silk. I just, I thought, I just think this turned out to be such a pretty color, and it's much prettier on the on the sorry silk than it was on my hands. By the time I was done, I dyed my fingers, um, just my right hand, purple. <laughs> and I have gloves, and I was using gloves, but I just kind of got to the point where I'd been washing my hands or, you know, gloves on and off all morning. And I got to the point where I was just kind of done with that. So I, I took them off and had purple fingers for about three days. All right, I still think I need to add some stitching when the glue dries, maybe just around the flower. But other than that, I think we're about done with that flip. And I wanted this to be long enough to stick out over the top and out of the book. I don't think this has turned out super cute. So this um, I think looks really good. The card on the inside. Uh, this one we made the other day. And the, the uh, little journal inside this one. But I do think this needs something. I always start with a little ink. And maybe.
just some. Maybe just a, a label. I, think, I don't know what color ink I'm running out of, but I'm running out of some color of ink because these did not print out very, um, quite as nice as they usually do. Uh, I'm going to keep these as a possibility. And I don't think I want to go with brown. So maybe just a couple of green ones. Um, I think I used this one already, April 14th, somewhere. Since this one is right here on the edge, go ahead and use this one too. You know, I see, I see on, you know, Facebook and other people's um, videos that you know a lot of people cut all of these out and they have little tins with all of their their labels. I just cannot keep my attention long enough. Even watching TV and doing it, I just don't have the attention span to cut out a tin full of, of labels. But I'm envious of everybody who does. So please hang with me while I just cut these out. I'm not necessarily going to use all three on here, but on here, on that envelope, but um, I want to see if there's another spot that needs just another little something, something. All right. And I know here I go again inking, but I just like to have those white edges aged a little bit. Try to be consistent with whatever style my journal is, and since this one is, um, I'm using coffee stained papers and, and that, I want to make sure that you know, I started vintage, I stick with the vintage look. All right. This page is kind of bugging me. It's kind of flat. So. I think I'll just put couple of those down there. Just something to add um, a little visual interest. Oops, already. OK, 
really don't know. But this might be a good place for that lace. Just to put a little, little something with texture on this one. instead of a label, maybe. Just a little bit of textile. All right, so I am back and I sewed the tag and I sewed around the flowers and all the way around the edge. And um, when I said I was almost out of brown thread, it literally, I have six inches left. <laughs> and it, it's not even on the spool anymore. So uh, <laughs> I am gonna have to go to the, to the store and get some thread, or I'm not gonna be able to finish working on this project today. And I'm gonna add, I think, a little bit, just another little color there and pop that in the pocket and since I already cut this out I think I'm gonna put that there and I sewed a little bit of this um, Sorry, silk to this remnant of, of lace. I'm gonna leave the strings on, I think. And I'm gonna glue that just right here. And everything else has texture, um, has some depth to it. That just was looking so flat. And it doesn't take much to add just a little bit of, of interest. So, here we go. The flip is done, so. The next step is going to be to move on to the actual journal, which I will do on the next installment of this series. So thank you for joining me today. I appreciate your time. Appreciate our subscribers so much. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Uh, just click the subscribe button if you want to receive notifications when we have new videos. Um, just click on that little bell. Uh, you can check us out on our Etsy shop, uh, which is uh, just ideas times two. Uh, the link will be below. Um, you can also see us on Facebook and Instagram. And I would just like to say thank you one more time for your, uh, your support, your kindness, your, uh, your time today. So have a great weekend, everybody. I will see you in a couple of days for part four. So bye-bye, everybody.